Hi, folks. Move here in the garden, get ready to cut some uh, collards. I know I got a few viewers that's interested in my garden, so I figured I'd uh, do a uh, update on it. So, I got uh, 48 tomato plants planted. And uh, watching after me. Haven't lost any plants to cut worms or nothing yet. This is cucumbers right here on the other side of this. They'll grow up on this cattle panel. Give some shade to uh, the tomato plants later in the summer. So, same thing here. I got uh, cucumber plants planted right out through here. These right here, I've never, had, never had planted before. This thing right here says, four to eight pounds each, <laughs> each tomato. I believe it when I see it. I'll let you know. Uh, squash. Doing okay. I planted those a little bit earlier. Got a few little blooms on there. I hope they get pollinated. You see how these leaves right here are wilted? Well, that's a way of squash plant protecting itself from the sun. They'll droop like that. And then this evening, after the shade hits them, they'll come back out. It's, it's plenty of water in there. It's not dying for water. But a lot of them are doing that. Uh, let's see. These are my rocket tomatoes. That's my favorite tasting tomatoes. They young. Uh, sweet green peppers. Sweet red peppers. These right here are uh, sweet banana peppers. I planted the jalapenos over here so they wouldn't cross germinate and make the other peppers hot. Uh, cabbage slow. Heads are not forming well at all. Brussels sprouts doing butter. I let in on them with nitrogen and they are doing better than they were. Broccoli. I got some florets I need to cut. I've already cut the heads, but I've got some florets growing. This is a different kind right here. They just don't get as big. And you can see why I'm over here getting ready to cut collards. I think a rabbit got that one right there. Anyhow, I, this is the, I know the fourth cut. That little thing right yonder, he'll lay an egg. Where'd you go? There he goes. That little thing right there will lay an egg and then you'll have uh, cut ones. There he is over here again. Let me see if I can get him. Go ahead and light a cabbage butterfly. Well, I hit him, but he flew off. Maybe he got the message. I kill him whenever I can. Back to the college. This road right here wasn't doing very good at first. This one was doing a little bit better, and then this one was doing best. Well, I put a lot of chainsaw noodles in the garden in December. And uh, I put too many down here. I didn't know exactly what was going on, but I knew I had more noodles down here than I did up here. So I studied the subject. And come to find out, the noodles were jerking nitrogen over the soil or the chainsaw, um, just, you know, wood dust of any kind, or any kind of wood you put in the ground, sawdust. So I lit in on this with nitrogen, and they're really coming back and, and catching up with these others. So if you put chainsaw noodles in your garden, just don't put too many. It will help the garden in the future. 
you know, it will have the decaying wood in the, in the soil, but it will jerk that nitrogen out of the soil to the wood and uh, take it away from the plants. So they're doing much better. And uh, we got a bicycle race going, going by here today. Uh, and how uh, we're making progress, a little bit of progress on getting ready for the garage build. Anyhow, that's about it. I hope everybody has a great Sunday. No work today. I'll just cut these calls and run back in the AC. So, everybody take care and have a great Sunday.